everybody. Today we have the Dell Latitude 7320 laptop. It's a beautiful touchscreen laptop with Intel Core i7 11th gen processor. We'll take it apart, we'll see what we can fix, replace or upgrade. Let's start. So unscrew all the bottom screws. Now we have to separate the bottom case from the palm rest, so find the gap, use plastic tool, otherwise you will scratch your pads, and work your way around the, at the edge to disconnect all the clips. Right. And the bottom is out. Here we have the part number. Now we have access to all internal components, so let's start with disconnecting the battery. Otherwise we may cause some short while we do the disassembly. So now unscrew all the screws. And this is how you take out the battery. So you can replace it if your laptop doesn't hold the charge or the battery is swollen. That's how we do it. Here we have the type number and the part number. Now let's check our storage. If your laptop doesn't boot or you would like to upgrade your storage to the higher capacity, leave the discover. And underneath you have this NVMe SSD drive. That's the extension, because our drive here is very short. That's how it looks like. So now let's disconnect our speakers. And let's take them out. So if your sound is bad or doesn't work at all, you can replace your speakers. Let's see here under that part, we have the, our cables rooted under this cable here. So let's disconnect it. All right, our speakers are out. Here we have the part number. So now let's take out the heat sink and cooling fan. So if your cooling fan is making grinding noise or doesn't spin, laptop overheats, this is how we can replace it. Take out the screws and disconnect from the motherboard. Okay, it looks like it's connected to the heatsink, so take out the screws from the heatsink as well. And now we're gonna take it out, but uh, sometimes it may be stuck to the motherboard, to the processor, because of the cooling paste, so be gentle when you lift it. Don't bend the heatsink. It was stuck. All right, here we have the part number. So now let's disconnect all the cables from the motherboard and take out all the screws. So I will start with the video cable here.
Alright, the cable is disconnected. Let's disconnect the audio board. Yeah, that's the audio board. Okay, here we have the touchpad connector. All right. Oh, let's disconnect the Wi-Fi antennas. The actual Wi-Fi card is soldered on the motherboard, so you won't be able to replace it. If Wi-Fi doesn't work, you have to replace the whole motherboard. Okay, now looks like we should be good so let's take out all the screws let's see if we can pull the motherboard Okay, our motherboard is out. Here we have the part number. And this part number here. Okay, now we can take out our DC power jack. So if your laptop isn't getting power, the jack is broken, then this is how we can fix it. So that's our power jack. Here we have the part number. That's our audio jack. So if your sound doesn't work, your headphones don't work, replace this part. Here we have the part number. Now let's unscrew the hinges. We are pulling out our panelist assembly. Okay, now trying to unfold our panelist. Okay, now it's out. So here we have the our part numbers. Looks like we could replace the keyboard if we have to, because it's held by these tiny screws. Same with the touchpad, you can replace it if you have to. Very often this part is sold as one whole assembly with the keyboard and the touchpad. So if you are looking for parts, check gatlaptopparts.com. And here we have our screen assembly left. Here we have the part number on the video cable. And that's it. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next video.